Hello everyone, this is number 48 for common speaking errors. So this is just going to be a word choice issue that we're going to go over. Our sentence here says, I think it would be comfortable for you. Um, now one thing that we got to realize, the word comfortable, you got to think this is being free from any kind of physical discomfort. It, it means, uh, you know, when you're comfortable, it just means you are relaxed. You are, you're, you're feeling good. You've got no discomfort in your body. So it's just like sitting on a sofa and you just feel so good because the sofa is so nice and soft. Um, but I think a lot of times when we're using this expression, we're mixing up the word comfortable with the word convenient. And the word convenient means to make something easier for you. Um, so let, let's just go over the context in which we would use both of these words. So comfortable first, but we're going to ask, we're going to say something is comfortable. Um, so we can say uh, that. We can use that or this. It doesn't matter. If you're using that, then you're just away from something. So that sofa's, that sofa's comfortable. So you can say that sofa's comfortable. So you're just saying that sofa, I can sit on that sofa and I feel good. I feel really good. Now you can say that bed's comfortable or, um, or you know, that jacket's comfortable if it's a clothing item. So we can also start a sentence with those, which is the plural of, the, of uh, that. So those, and then you got to think of a dual clothing item. Let's just say boots, those boots. Those boots are comfortable. So that just means you like wearing those boots. Um, so yes, it's going to be something that is, that is, yeah, that, that gives you no physical pain. Something that makes you feel, makes your body feel good. Um, you can also put this in question form. Um, are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? So you can ask that. Are you comfortable? If you're asking someone, if someone is staying with you and they're and they're sleeping in a in a bed at your house, you can ask them, are you comfortable in that bed? Now we are gonna look at convenient, and convenient, you know, that just you loosely means to, you know, to make something easier, to make something easier to do make your life much easier. Um, so yes, that is going to be convenient. So in, when we're using this kind of expression, I think it would be, and this is just, you know, kind of giving an opinion because we're using think, I think. So we're giving an opinion here. I think it would be convenient. I think it would be convenient for you. So this can be a standalone statement here, but we want to give some context to this. So let's just say, um, if I'm not, let's say I'm not feeling too good, I'm feeling kind of sick, you know, my head hurts or my stomach hurts, then you would say, well, I think it would be convenient for you to see a doctor. So I think it would be convenient for you to see a doctor. So if I do this, I'm going to feel more comfortable. So you're just telling me, you know, you're going to make your life easier if you go see a doctor. Um, you can also say, um, you know, maybe if I have a really bad heart issues, you could say, I think it would be convenient for you to cut meat out of your diet. Um, I think it would be if I'm... No, if I'm, uh, if, again, if I'm feeling sick, you could say, I think it would be convenient for you to go home early. So yeah, the word convenient, it's going to differ from comfortable and the fact that convenient is just a word we use to tell someone you can make your life easier doing this. Um, so yes, uh, and comfortable, you're just going to have to think that's more physical. That means your body has no pain, no discomfort.
So that is going to conclude lesson number 48. Uh, thank you very much for following along, and I will see you in number 49.